Hello, let's start from the get started section and in the installation page. So this page is explained that React was designed from the start for gradual adoption. That means that you can use React everywhere or you can use React just a little bit. So let's proceed here and see how we can try React. So here they have this quick way that you can try like how to use React. We are not going to explain here like what is this, that it looks like an HTML or what is this like function, but we are going to explain this later, not now. But now we can just play around here. Let's rename this from hello in English to hola in Portuguese. So you can see our chains are reflected pretty fast here in the bottom. So I can change again to hello or I can change to hello you and the name and that's going to, to work really nicely here inside the documentation page. But maybe you want to have like a sandbox, like a place where you can play around with this. So you can click here in the fork and you have a full sandbox, not just inside the React documentation. And it's the same idea. You can also change things here. You can see my change was brought to here, like hello you, and you can remove this and then it's going to reload in the right side, right in this browser here. Here in also the sandbox, you can, can use your GitHub account, you can like use this to do other experiments, but that is one way that you can do very easily from the React docs. But going back here, maybe you are doing a lot of change here and you're having some fun, but then you save here and boom, you have an error. And maybe you don't have any idea how to fix this error. So they have this helpful reset state here. So you can confirm and then it's working again. Now it's working again. <laughs> it was a little bit slow, but it's working now. You can also download this sandbox here. It's embedded in this website, but you can download if you want and that's really nice and a really easy way for you to try your code inside these React docs. They also show to us a few other tools that you can use as a sandbox and this way you can have fun and you can change your code in a very nice environment without installing anything in your machine. But if you want to try React locally, that is another way that you can do without installing anything. That's a very simple HTML page. So let's do this. Let's download this page. Actually, it's not a download. It's just open here so you can copy and paste. We are going to copy this content and paste in a file in VS Code. So I'm going to click here, new file. I'm going to say index.html and I can choose a folder here and paste the code. Now I'm going to go to this run space here and I'm going to run and I'm going to choose Chrome. Okay, now I have the browser in the right and I'm going to drag this to the left. Let me close this. So you can see that you have hello world here. If I scroll down a little bit, I can change to like hello too. I can save, but in this case, you can see it's not reflected here because I need to refresh. So we can see hello too now. But how is this working? Like how my browser knows how to understand React? So let me expand this a little bit. And you can see we have these tags here that are importing React for us. But take, be careful with this approach because as you can see, you should not use in production. Production is like the real environment where your clients, your users are going to use your system because this is slow. You are going to learn other ways to handle React files and transformations later. But that's basically it. That's a nice way as well for you to play around in your machine and then you can just load this in the browser. And the docs continue explaining that you can also add React to an existing website. So we already have a website using another technology. You could add React to it. We are going to see this later. And also you can start a project already planning to use React. And so this is the best way to do it. And we're going to do this together also in next videos. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoy. This series is going to be very long, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel and see you in the next one. Bye bye.